me Shani and today I'm going to be showing you my makeup empties so all the products I've used up recently it's actually everything I've used up since I've gone back to college at the end of August and I feel like that's not that long of a time for all this stuff I have in front of me so I'm super excited so if you're interested just keep on watching and we'll we'll get into my trash <laughs> how about that um I wanted to start with what I have on my eyes today. I really like it. I wanted to do a pinky purple moment and I used the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. So love, love that. Thought I'd mention it if you were wondering, but let's just get right into the empties. So I normally keep um, my empties in this little bag. I think I got this from like a bottle of wine. <laughs> But anyways, I've been using it and it was like completely full, spilling out, so I was like, it is time to film an empties video. And I actually do have, I think I have a few empties at home that I didn't bring at school to me, with me, so I might have, I might have a few things that I've used, but this is all the stuff I've used recently, since end of August, um, th that I've used up. So I'm going to start, oh my gosh, I'm going to start with skincare, I have a ton of skincare actually first I have two face masks that I actually didn't use I usually don't keep my face mask let me know if you want me to keep like my empty face mask because I could tell you those but these two just went old this one is a collagen one from like a Korean brand and then this is a one of those like otter one like when it's an animal one so they both went bad before I was able to use them so they're they're getting thrown out the rest of it a lot of this is mostly stuff i've actually used up so some eye creams i have two eye creams i believe this is the dr brandt ruby crystal complex um the like writing completely came off of it but this was a pretty good eye cream i wouldn't repurchase it dr brandt is pretty expensive and i believe they're not even cruelty free but i got this in a boxy charm so i thought i'd use it it was nice, but it wasn't my favorite eye cream. This I would repurchase. This is the Sally Ander Nourish Under Eye Treatment, and this one is like a small business, so I think if I were to repurchase an eye cream um, when I run out, I still have a lot left of what I have, but I would think I would purchase this. It was like $13, and it's supporting a small business, so that's my eye cream empties um i have a face oil from go to it's the face hero um powerful and protective face oil this was in a ipsy and i thought that was awesome to get a face oil i love getting skincare in ipsy i think that's really fun and boxycharm too so this was nice i used it up i don't really think face oils are needed in my skin in my skincare routine but this is one that you know I had so I used it up would not repurchase um, I have this it cosmetics confidence in your beauty sleep little cream and my brother's girlfriend Brie actually gave this to me I used it up and it was really nice you know I used it like every Sunday as like a sleep cream and um, you know I enjoyed it but I, I don't think I'd repurchase it you know it was nothing revolutionary <laughs> um, so I have a serum, this is a full size Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptide Serum, smooth and firm. This one is from BoxyCharm as well as the Dr. Brandt eye cream that I talked about before. And this, I it took me a while to use this up, but I actually did really like it. Kate Somerville I think is pretty expensive, so again, I don't think I'd repurchase it. I'm not too picky with serums, but... It was very nice. I thought it was very, um, very nice on my skin, but I don't know what it really did. I don't think it did anything that fancy, so I won't be repurchasing that. Um, I used up this from Ipsy. It is a Levito, Levado, um, hydrating facial cleanser. I actually really liked this, and I actually have a hand cream from them as well, and I do like it. I like the scents of their stuff. This is one is pomegranate peel, orange blossom, and carrot. Cleanse, refresh, and restore. So I don't know. Maybe I would repurchase this one. It was a really nice cleanser and I really did enjoy it. Sorry, I don't know if you can <laughs> really see. Um, I used up a primer. This is the Ola Hendrickson 
Banana Bright Face Primer. I think I would repurchase this. This was a smaller size. Um, I really like their Banana Bright line at Ola Hendrickson. So I could see myself repurchasing this in like a set of the eye cream, the gel moisturizer, and the uh, face primer. But I don't think I'd repurchase this on its own. But I did enjoy using it. I have the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I got this. This is this was 60 pads. You know, I used completely 60 pads. Um, and I'm usually not a facial pad. Ooh, I almost dropped it. I'm usually not a facial pad kind of gal, but this was so amazing for my skin. I would use it on my whole face, and I feel like it like took. I don't know, it just smoothed my skin so nicely and like, I feel like on my nose I feel like bumpies or like, you know, I feel my pores kind of thing and this one just like, this wiped it out. It was, my my skin was so nice. I really noticed a difference. Sorry, a car is driving by. Um, I really noticed a difference with this, so I've been looking for it. Every single BoxyCharm pop-up, I've been looking for it because this I got at, with, in my BoxyCharm. And I finally was able to score it, um, I think for like $12 when it's normally $60. <laughs> yeah. So I actually did really recently repurchase this finally. Because I was like, I am not spending $59 on this. But I've been looking for it and looking for it and I finally found it, I think for around $12 on BoxyCharm pop-up. So, super excited to have this back in my life because when I went through these, I was so upset. I was like... <laughs> especially with wearing masks and stuff this I feel like I need this in my life so I feel like I have a hair oh okay sorry <laughs> two more skincare I have the ColourPop land face milks these are like mini face milks I know this one looks like there's some left in it but there really isn't this one is the coconut one and this is the watermelon face milk I really like these they're not super hydrating I feel like they're nice moisturizers but I only use them in the daytime I feel like they're not like as heavy as a moisturizer that I want in the nighttime but they're great for the day so the daytime so I would I would I could see myself throwing this in if I make a color pop order like throwing in an, another face milk I have one more of these um, little mini sizes that I will go through as well but I did enjoy these two flavors they or scents like they smelled really nice as well I have three makeup remover wipes these ones are from top care I would not repurchase these um, my mom just got me them but I mean they're nice and they're cheap but my favorites are the honest beauty ones and I would repurchase these I'm trying not to use up makeup wipes as much these days but it still happens <laughs> so I gotta get better with that but here are the Honest Beauty ones. You can get these at um, Ulta now. I used to think it was only at Target, but they're at Ulta as well. So, love those. I actually have another pack going right now. Um, some random, I have a body lotion from, I think this is the Ulta brand. It's Sweet and Shimmer Sparkling Rose. I actually really like this body lotion. I don't know if I'd repurchase it. But it was nice. Um, Bath and Body Works Shower Gel and Twinkling Lights. I will not be repurchasing. They are not cruelty free, sadly. But I did enjoy going through this um, shower gel. It, was, it smelled really nice. But now I have a Silk and Glory one I like better. And I did go through a whole perfume. Uh, the Love and Glamour by Jennifer Lopez. I really, I think this is an old perfume. I don't know if they even still sell it. But I absolutely loved the scent. Um, again, probably wouldn't repurchase because I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but I did enjoy going through it. Um, yeah. So that's all of that stuff. Let's go into some makeup. I have the KVD Little Locket Powder. This was a sample. This was from Ipsy, actually, and I really loved, it looks like there's a little bit left, but I swear I got the most uh, of it that I could. And it was a really nice powder. I used it for my face. Um, not really under the eyes, I just used it for my face and I really did like it. Um, I feel like I wouldn't repurchase just because I have a lot of powder now and I think I'd repurchase the Milk Blur and Set if I ran out as opposed to this one because they're probably similar pricing. But yeah, I don't think I'd repurchase, but it was a nice powder. I enjoyed using it. 
Um, so we have some eye products. Okay, so I have the Stila Glitter and Glow in Follow the Sun. This is a mini of the liquid eyeshadow, and it just dried out. I loved this shade. It was just your average like champagne type of color, but it did dry out. These dry out so fast. I'm glad I only had a mini because I would never go through a full size, but I just wanted to tell you. Like, it looks like I used up somewhat somewhat of a good amount but I still did not use all of it before it dried out so kind of sad but I do like liquid eyeshadows from Stila it's just they dry out fast I have two liquid liners the KVD tattoo liner um I got this in Ipsy and it's a mini ear size so I used it up quicker or it dried out quicker loved this liner I think I would repurchase this if I ran out of a ton of I still have a ton of li uh, liquid liners this one is the Arcelli liquid liner, you know, black, another black liquid liner. This was from Ipsy as well, and it was full size, and this took me literally forever to use up. It was so, so good, and I, like, kept using it and kept using it for months, and I couldn't believe that I didn't use it. It, it didn't, you know, end or dry out, so this was really nice. Um, I don't really know this brand. I don't know if I would really repurchase it, but I was really impressed. Um, but I guess it doesn't take much for me to be impressed by liquid liners. I don't know. Um, the Scone Brow Wand. I think I would repurchase this. I still have a lot of brow products left. Um, but I absolutely love this. It's in the shade Peanut Butter. And it has a spoolie on the one end. And then on this end it was like a uh, triangle shape. And I really enjoyed it for my brows. Um, I don't know where you can get Scone Cosmetics. I don't know if it's just on their website, but I wonder how much this would be because I think I would repurchase it. This took me a long time to get through as well. So I have a lot of brow products right now. Not really looking for any more, but I was so impressed by this. And this was another Ipsy find, you know, that I used up. I have the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Statement Mascara. This was in my collection for so long. Look at like how I wore it out where I would hold it. It's so funny. But I would not repurchase this. It was just something I had in my collection that I wanted to use up. And I used it for my bottom lashes. Um, there was nothing wrong with it. I think I like the regular Lights Camera Lashes better than the Lights Camera Flashes. But nothing too too crazy it just got old and I used it I used it probably for around three months or the regular time you're supposed to use mascara so yeah nothing crazy there I have I used up a whole eyeshadow this is the Lorac Princess eyeshadow palette and I told myself if I used up this shade right here then I could throw it out it's, it's an old palette no one would really want this anyways and I don't really enjoy these two types of colors. I like the gold, but I told myself I would be done. And I did use this shade up completely. So I'm just going to toss this palette. It's it's crazy that I used this up completely in 2020. Like, that was, I'm proud of myself for that. It was just a base color, like, that matched my skin tone that I would use to set my concealer on my eyes. So, yeah, I'm going to toss that. And then this is a ColourPop eyeshadow in formation and I'm just going to throw it out it is terrible terrible it is like the worst eyeshadow one of the worst eyeshadows I've ever used it's hardly workable it's just not even pigmented it, it's really bad I don't know if I got a bad batch like all my other ColourPop singles are great except for this one I would not recommend this shade but I just decided to take it out of my magnetic palette and throw it out because it's not even worth giving to anyone because it's so bad <laughs> so do not buy formation from ColourPop it looks like it's a fun color but it's it's really bad it's like hardly swatches it's so bad um, I have a ton of lip balms <laughs> I have the soft lips watermelon this had SPF 30 or I'm sorry SPF 20 which was cool used this up completely I don't think I'd repurchase but it was nice my mom always gets me the EOS's so I went through two of the like stick versions I don't even know what flavor is this this one smells like watermelon this one smells like kiwi kind of used them up 
completely. And I guess I've been using a lot of lip balm because I also used up a watermelon like um, little EOS egg. And I used up two <laughs> Burt's Bees, the pomegranate and the wild cherry. I think I would repurchase the Burt's Bees. These I have a ton of because of my mom, but I don't think I'd repurchase, and I don't think I'd repurchase this. So I went through one, two, three, four, five, six lip balms in a very short amount of time. I think they were all, some of them were on their last leg, and that's why. But lots of lip balms I went through, and yeah, I think my favorites are the Burt's Bees ones. And lastly, we have some hair products, because I think, I think that's it. So I went through the Not Your Mother's Leave-In Conditioner. I think they're cruelty free. I would have to look that up, but I would repurchase this if they are cruelty free. I think my mom got this for me uh, for Easter, like with all, a bunch of other stuff, and I really did enjoy using this one up. Um, I have the Tresemme Tres 2 Little Hairspray. I would repurchase this it's just a cheap option for hairspray but i don't know if they're cruelty free or not so i'm not sure but i do have a bunch of these that i like had that i've been using so i do have one like this right now that i'm going through and then i have lastly the paul mitchell super skinny relaxing balm i already did repurchase this i use this to calm my frizz every morning and i really love this product so yeah that was all my empties i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what products you've been using up what products do you guys go through the fastest um i'd love to know i will talk to you guys later have a great day and i'll see you next time bye